What is up? It's your boy Johnny Shrivive, BB Pro Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to another episode of Coaching Up. Today we're coaching up Drake. Yes, guys, we're coaching up Drake. We're gonna break down Mike Van Wick's last video. So guys, I suggest you go over to Mike's page. Go after you're done watching this vid. Check out his videos called Train the Goat basically putting Drake through chest workout. But I already looked through the entire video. There's some cues in there that I know that some people are probably misunderstanding based on how Drake actually responds to a lot of Mike's great cues. So we're gonna break those things down for you guys. You guys can understand a little bit more and give that vid the love it needs because damn, like it needs way more views. Now we have an idea how to absorb the weight and push away a rock into it and then throw it away. Or me pushing the weight off my chest, right? Now we're gonna get into applying this to flies, pec deck, pec deck flies, dumbbell flies, whatever it is. We're gonna show you guys how to do this properly and connect a little bit where Drake did. Now here, the issue right now we have with Drake is that he's not used to this, right? So right away, like beginners, they're trying to take a lot of things all at once. And then for the most part, when you're training, people's arms and shoulders get too exhausted before their chest even gets exhausted and then that's when things basically fall apart and you can see right here in this part of the video that at the end of this giant set it's hard for him to keep his his shoulders down his chest up his elbows behind the weight and he's struggling to really get himself in a rock forward so i'm gonna break this thing down and make sure you guys can understand this a little more clear when it comes again body posture okay so again when we're grabbing this i want i want you to think like if you look right now when i'm pushing Right, if I sit here, like I'm right here, meaty part of my hand is right here. There's a nice line, stable line here. My arm is, is straight, my wrist is, is basically flat and neutral, right? And I can feel right away, I'm feeling that right here in my chest. Right, maybe I take the shirt off. If you can see right away, the second I lock my lats in, like I'm locking lats in, like lock lats. So I'm basically pushing my elbow down. Now, when I do this, I'm not, push my elbow like this and trying to because then we have this thing where people are like trying to do these. I don't know, it just looks terrible. But from here, again, I'm just gonna take one hand here and I'm gonna sit beside it and right away, if you watch me, just do a little jab with my, with my hand. You see this firing off, right? A lot of times we have this not even firing off. We have a lot of like this coming first and we're trying to pull this part in. You can see my chest is working, but not as much as it is from here, right? So when we're doing this, we're feeling this from here. You should feel it immediately. Second, I haven't even moved this thing yet and I'm already engaged. Here's how I literally set up when I do flies. The second I start to do flies, I will literally, I'll, I'll fall into the position. So if you watch, I put a little bit of weight on here so you can see it more realistic. I'll take my weight and I'll literally go from here. I'm locked in a lat, so basically, Elbows are gonna be behind the weight, not under. I don't want them under, I want them behind, right? And then I'm still locking in a lat, so I'm from here and here. As soon as I step out, I'm almost falling in. You can see how I'm falling into the weight. I get myself out and I'm getting myself ready. Now when I'm doing this, you can watch how my body, my body posture, I fall in the weight and I'm pushing myself back. I'm not doing this. I see this all the time. This is. You know, we're doing the crossovers, we're doing flies, we're here. We're just like, oh, we're really getting a good workout in. We're literally hugging a tree and doing most musculars the entire time, and that's not what's gonna work. So, what we wanna do is, get yourself here, get the weight in, bring it into your body, walk out, right? And then you wanna, where I'm here, I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna fall into it. My weight's here, now it gets a little advanced, but if you watch me now, I'm back here and this entire thing I'm suspending through here and I can still be productive literally leaning on this. But when I'm doing this entire workout, I'm rocking in. I'm falling into it. I'm falling in and pushing away. I'm falling in and pushing away. Now you have to do it this way. You can put a foot out and be more stable here. Show with foot, show with apart and doing the same thing. I'm just using this for for leverage, I'm gonna help myself, it's gonna help me fall in, and push away, right? I'm looking down at my chest, still neutral spine, falling down, and then pushing away. Falling down, and pushing away. That's how you should approach your lift. So again, when you're doing this, you should have your weight 
basically almost like falling forward when you're doing this. It's gonna give you a little more activation and help feeling the muscle more. It's just like doing a push-up, right? You fall into a push-up. I'm basically doing a push-up with two suspended handles in the air. It's literally what I'm doing. I'm just doing a push-up. Chest is up. Right, for beginners, foot down, rock. Right, fall into it. My hands, you can see my hands are behind that handle, elbows behind my hands, shoulders still down, chest still up, everything's activated. Everything's firing off and I'm That's what it means by rocking the body so it moves. Your ability to be able to expand the chest and then activate it the entire time while it's expanded at its most expandedness is gonna give you a big chest. Okay, so last but not least, this is one of the best, I would say machines, this not, this not this machine specific, but this is a good machine to really understand, push yourself into the ground. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you two different ways to approach this. Here's one, and here's the language I'm gonna use. Pushing the weight, off of my chest. So if I'm gonna push the weight off my chest, it looks like this. Pushing myself into the bench looks like this. See the difference? I'll do it again. Pushing the weight off my chest is this. Pushing myself into the floor is this. Can you see the difference? Yes, you can. It's more dynamic. There's more control. I'm underneath the weight more. Now when it comes to his rocking the head thing, so on the ground, we're looking at chest. So Mike gives a cue, look at your chest. Drake looks at his chest like this. And everyone's like, how are we supposed to look at your chest, Johnny? The cue necessarily isn't stare at your chest and bring your whole head up and try and stare down to your crotch. It's to get your head up a bit and look down. You can see the posture of my head is still in a position that is neutral. So when I'm at the bottom, when I'm, at the, when I'm here, I'm not at the bottom, sorry, and then I'm pushing away, I'm pushing myself here, then I'm up and away, right? I'm pulling the weight in, head's coming up, but it's not looking up. Drake was doing this, and it's probably the first time Drake's done this cue before. So we're here, right? We're opening up the chest, right? We're pushing ourselves in, chest comes up, natural here. All right, so I want you guys to watch my setup. Right away, I get my hands underneath. I'm locking in the lats, and basically, as soon as I go in here, I'm externally rotating a bit to get my, my elbows, to get my fists, wrists, and elbows stacked under here. When I do that, you can see the weight automatically just comes up. I'm already rocked in there. My chest is already activated. I don't want to start from down here. I'm going to get under the weight, getting my palm up, meaty part of my hand to sit there, shoulders back and away from my ears, and right away, you can see the weight's already coming up. Now from here, I'm gonna look up to the, I'm gonna look up more so like to the, not to my chest, but think of like looking down at your chin a bit when you're pushing up. So we're gonna start from here, right? And then we're gonna push away. We're gonna let it fall back. That's what he's trying to give an idea is like the feeling of falling back. Up and fall back. Crack, fall back, right? Absorb the weight and push yourself back. Now, do you have to do that? You do not have to do that whatsoever. That is a different technique in the cue that can help some beginner, immediate, advanced feel their chest more. Is that the end all be all to do this, to have a better chest? No, it is not. It's just a different cue that if done right, you'll feel your chest that much more, right? Now, I can still feel my chest from here and doing the same thing, but I still apply the exact same cues that he's applying by letting the weight come down from here and I'm always pushing myself into the ground. You can see my head movement when I'm sitting here. I'm, you can see how it rocks in. I'm rocking and then I'm pushing away and putting myself into the ground. You can see my body positioning sinks right back down. Okay, so remember guys, when we're doing this, again, obviously from floor to core, don't forget about your legs. Push it from here, engaging your core. Your core's engaged. We're not letting it just sit so your back's arched like this because when he gives Drake arching cues of arching his back, it doesn't mean to disengage your core. It means to like keep it engaged in a sense where you can still open up. My core is still engaged. You guys see this? Like I'm opening up, I'm opening up my chest. My chest is up, but my core's still engaged, right? So the difference between doing this and then just letting it hang out like this or being here, right? When I'm pushing, I'm gonna There's no way I can't engage my core if you're not breathing right. Anyway, think of controlling both of the movements, right? 
If I'm doing chest, I'm still doing back because I'm pulling the weight down. I'm absorbing the weight by doing a row and then I'm pressing the weight away by doing a press, right? Think about doing both sides of the movement, not just controlling the weight down and then just jacking up at the end. The whole point of this is to get the most time and attention to fire off the muscles as much as possible so you can build better overall muscles <laughs> and a physique, whatever. Anyway, guys, that is it for the video today. Guys, if you enjoyed that video and you use any of those cues, let me know how it goes in the comment section below. And guys, I know you guys enjoyed the video, so if you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, come with a telegate is transparent and vulnerable truth. And guys, hit the description below for those discount codes, promo codes that'll save life or change life for the better, like Johnny, 10 for 10% off Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Guys, make sure you guys get my ebook, my three, four, five day splits. Book yourself a phone consult. 50 to 30 minutes, book one, we'll chat, nutrition, training, anything you want, get yourself on the right track. And guys, remember, add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I will repost it for you. So you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.